Thank you very much. Over to you, Honourable Member. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. As a young black South African, I feel obligated to remind us of the purpose of this debate. Madam Speaker, a few days ago, I had a conversation with Shireen Africando, who, like myself, had been raised by a father who never had the opportunity to attend a university. Our fathers, like many fathers in the Eastern Cape, worked hard to commit to a life of hard work so that I can have a different lifestyle. Understanding her father's commitment to better her life, she surpassed all expectations when she had been accepted in the University of Free State. She was meant to become the first in her family to attend a university. Honorable members, today, she sits at home, either with nothing more than a matric certificate and a university acceptance. She is one of the many silenced, hopeless, rejected voices of the lost generation. She is part of the 53,000 unsuccessful applicants of NASFAS. Madam Chair, I am moved to share the words of W. Yeats that state, but I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. These are the words echoed by my fellow young South Africans. These are the words of a generation whose dreams have been denied, whose hope has been diminished, whose trust has been broken, whose talents have been crippled. These are indeed the words of a lost generation. A generation of born frees who are victim to two decades of compounding ground government corruption and greed. This is a lost generation whose government has turned its back on its people. When the young people of South Africa in Shapville, when they stood tall, as you like to remind us, and sacrificed their lives, they believed they were doing so for the greater good of South Africa, for democracy, education, and opportunity. If they were to see this government today, they would cringe in their graves because this government is no longer a selfless government. Instead, it has turned its back on its people and its young people. Today, we find ourselves with a government that is scared of its own young people. That is why they bring us 40-year-olds instead of people my age on the stage. We find ourselves with a government who has leaders who loot and steal from the people. A government that fails to eradicate the social ills in our community. A government that is self-serving, suppressive, and refuses to be corrected. Essentially, we find ourselves with a government that has failed young people. The Democratic Alliance believes that the youth should be encouraged to acquire an education with the necessary support and structures that will ensure not only access, but success in institutions of higher learning. Our reality is that of a collapsing basic education system that fails to teach our children to be critical thinkers. We are taught just to get by. We are taught to look for jobs and not to create jobs. This is a lost generation. In the Eastern Cape, which remains one of the poorest provinces in the country, my young brothers and sisters ought to wake up in the early mornings and walk to school. They are subjected to inhumane conditions. The conditions which they study in are not conducive to a sustainable learning environment. The, young the, the lives of young people have not been improved. This indeed is our lost generation, where we have 3 million South Africans under the age of 25, who are, by the way, my age, who are mainly black, that are not in education, employment, or training. They have been left behind. Madam, they are a lost generation. The Department of Higher Education and Training has set a target of merely 1 million people to enter institutions of higher learning. What has happened to the rest? Where are they in the system? Why have they been excluded? They are indeed a lost generation. In our TVET colleges, only 41% of the candidates that set in end to examination pass. In NCV, only 10% of our public TVET colleges managed to get an average of 60%. Many students today sit at home with no certificates. What are they ought to do? After so many obstacles they have surpassed, they're still not given the opportunity to get a job or employment. If we are to change, honorable members, this is clear that there must be a change in governance. We ought to have leaders that put the people first. It is a DA's mission to rescue this lost generation, to create a better future for all South Africans, not only those who are connected. We will create a free and fair society with equal opportunities for all, because it is this generation, my generation, that will change the status quo. It is my generation that will successfully eradicate the social isms that still prevail in society. We will not allow ourselves to be divided by race gender or religion, 
but instead we will be unified because we understand we are all fellow human beings. It is this generation that will become the beacon of hope to the young developing world because you as adults have failed to provide that for us. The Democratic Alliance will rescue this lost generation and ultimately rescue this country by creating a diverse education, training and internship options. We'll introduce a wide expanded NASFAS through which the poorest students will be comprehensively supported and the missing middle will receive support proportional to their family income. NASFAS does not do that. The DA will bring back teacher training colleges to ensure that we have got the best skilled teachers in our institution. The DA will offer a year free technical vacation training to all matrix because we believe that no one ought to be left behind. Honorable members, as we continue with our daily business, as we squander in this house, let us, let us be reminded of Shireen, who needs us to ensure that she is able to further her education that she has worked hard for and dreamed of. Let us be reminded of these young people that have placed their dreams beneath our feet. And as such, let us tread softly because we trade on the dreams of a lost generation. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable Kwankwa.